Yee-haw! And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, folks, we got plenty of things to try. Um, mostly fall items from the Caribou Coffee fall menu. Uh, there is one sandwich I wanted to try, a honey sriracha bagel um, sandwich. So we've got that too. It doesn't look like I see any of the stuff that's supposed to be on it. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and try and post for the thumbnail. It's kind of like a mukbang style review. You got the regular pumpkin spice coffee. You got the uh, new uh, shaker, the espresso shaker. So we're gonna try and figure out which is which, but I'm pretty sure the darker one is the shaker and the lighter one is just the regular coffee. Um, we're going to do this again because it's easier for me to hold it in my mouth instead of try and, you know, stick it in my hands. So, there you go. That's your thumbnail. Well, not quite. There you go. <laughs> That's a funny thumbnail, right? Um, if I don't expect all that weirdness. But, here's the cake pop. Nice and, uh, burnt orange color. So, pumpkin spice cake pop. Let's try it out. Subscribe, like, and comment on the video. Here we go. Mmm. It's so dense. The right amount of pumpkin flavor. Mm. I like that. Yeah. Very hearty, in my opinion. Um... I don't know, it's not the perfect flavor of pumpkin, but it, I like it a lot. I like the texture. Um, you know, it, it's very good, but it does taste like a cheaper version of pumpkin, so. But I, I like that it kind of melts in your mouth. I will say that. I'll give it, I'll give it eight. I think it's very solid, so there's that. All right, so moving on to the pumpkin cream cheese muffin. They warmed it. Uh, they asked me if I wanted it warm. I so, said, yeah, I'll do warm. So, it's a bright color pumpkin. Let's go ahead and break this bad boy open. There's the look on the inside with some cream cheese. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Yeah, that's a step up above the um, cake pop. The pumpkin tastes a little bit more legit. Someone's parking beside me. And they just, I, I just love when people do that. I'm literally in the back of the parking lot. And someone just pulls through and parks beside me. Anyways, it's a very nice, dense, flavorful muffin. With that touch of cream cheese. Man, oh man. I think give that a 10. That's really good. Really hits the spot. So we're gonna move on to the second espresso is what I'm thinking I've got here. Of course, your, your horn has to be loud when you lock the car. Great. All right, let's try this. Yeah, this is definitely the second espresso. Um, very forward on the coffee there. I swear, these people, they're all surrounding me now. I just don't get it. I just thought that one might hit me. You know, I'm not super impressed with their, their shakers. They always kind of, you know, there's just a hint of flavor. And some people like that. Some people like the less flavorful, more hint-centered type of thing. You know, they like the coffee with a note of flavor. And so if you like that, that's cool. That's, that's good for you. This is what you'll like. Um, for me, I prefer a lot of flavor, a lot of sugar, you know, a lot that's mixed in there. But, you know, maybe that's just me. So for me, I, I'd give it a seven. I'll give it a seven. It's solid. I mean, the, the flavor's good. The coffee's good. Um, I just want more. So that's why we got the pumpkin spice latte. It's 
because we wanted more. And we got more. It's definitely not the best pumpkin spice beverage I've had. Nor is it the worst. That's how I always come away from trying caribou. Is that it's not the best, nor is it the worst. I would say, like, out of all the pumpkin spice I've had, Wawa is probably the worst. That pumpkin salsa uses just downright disgusting, in my opinion. Now, their milkshake that I just had, mm, so good. But this is just kind of, it, it's there. It's its a, a touch above the shaker. Um, definitely not as good as Starbucks or Dunkin', in my opinion. I'd say the coffee's better than Dunkin'. But yeah, this leaves me wanting more 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 i'd still you know i i'll give it a seven and a half i was thinking maybe an eight but no i gotta, gotta be a little bit hard on it um you know it, it does have a little bit more pumpkin to it than this shaker but more 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 right all right so we're gonna finish this review off with the honey sriracha bagel sandwich and i guess that's the honey sriracha there there's not too much of it but Looks like a lot of cheese, bacon, egg, on everything bagel. Mm. The bread is a little bit tough, um, but the flavor is there. It's, it's it's a pretty solid breakfast item. But it definitely needs more to it. It definitely needs... Uh, that sriracha, that honey sriracha sauce needs to be heavier. It needs to have a lot more. I don't really like that I'm playing tug of war with the bread either. That's kind of annoying, but I give it a six. I mean, it's got all the, the things on it that would kind of satisfy you in terms of your hunger, but it leaves me saying we need some improvements, right? So that was the most disappointing item, but that pumpkin muffin, mm, so delicious. The drinks were okay. The cake pot was solid. Um, so I guess the, if you're gonna go to Caribou Co Coffee, if you like, if you have a favorite coffee, just get your favorite coffee, get a pumpkin muffin and call it a day, right? So that's it. That's, I hope you enjoyed this review. And other than that, I'll see y'all around.